it's cruise time. Who needs a gym? <laughs> Just bring your wife on vacation. <laughs> now I gotta run. As you can see, we did have a very early flight this morning, but we did make it onto our plane with limited hassle. Uh, we had some snacks, I had a little Biscoff cookie as you can see here, uh, and we were able to catch a little bit of sleep on the plane before we landed. Well, we made it to Miami airport, which the flight itself was fine, but the landing was, it's pretty landing rough. was a little rough. There was like a bag in one of the bins that I guess it was like empty enough. And so when the plane like stopped, it like shot forward and everybody around us was like, <laughs> The world is ending, which was a nice um, shared experience with plane strangers, I guess. But, it was. It was. Um, I also feel like no one knew how to get off the plane. Oh my gosh, I know. It was a. Uh, it was a bit chaotic getting off the plane, but it's currently about like 10 a.m. We landed about nine, but we've been running around like getting our bags, getting some coffee, as always. But we're actually going to be in the airport for a while because our port arrival time is not until. 1 30 and it's currently 10 a.m so we've got about three hours before we can go find our bus so i think we're just gonna hang out here and eat our breakfast and probably get a little bit of work done by that i'm gonna be editing always editing but there's there's a few things that we need to wrap up before we get on the cruise since we won't have internet or service for most of our cruise so this is where we'll be for the next three hours it'll be fun then we get on the ship then it actually gets fun. <laughs> I think we're actually coming. Oh, yep, you can yep. see. We're just about here. Ships in the background, so. Are you ready for your first Disney cruise? Yes, I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> I left so many things to surprise you don't even know. Good. Just how I like it. So, how are you feeling so far? Good. Got some Disney music going. Yeah. It's great. Once we boarded, our rooms were not quite ready yet, so we decided to take a little bit of time to just walk around and explore the ship. Since my husband had never been on a Disney cruise before, there were a lot of fun little Disney details for us to look at and for him to experience for the first time. So if y'all don't know, this is my husband's very first Disney cruise and I am a huge like Disney cruise fan so I kind of got some surprises for him and he has no idea and so I'm gonna kind of surprise him right now because I had some of like the specialty things like ordered and delivered to our room and so we're gonna surprise him right now. What is this? This is so nice! This is so big! What's all that? Disney cruise, so I wanted it to be extra special. This will be so much fun! <laughs> but what do you think about the room? It's so nice! Yeah, I don't think I've had this layout though. This is a very interesting inside cabin layout that I've seen. I like it though. I mean, honestly, I feel like I could live here. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> like, yeah. other than not having a kitchen, but 
Yeah. You know, if they're cooking every meal for you, you don't really need a kitchen, you know? Sure. This is so nice. So, we are now in our stateroom. We did get an inside cabin because we are on a budget. But, I will say, if you've sailed on other cruise lines and you're like concerned about an inside stateroom because you've been on some of those like more budgetary ships, inside staterooms on Disney are like balconies on other cruise ships in terms of space. Like, because their inside staterooms can easily support like four. So this is my fourth Disney cruise and I've never had a stateroom layout like this before and I actually really like it. Walking straight into like the couch but then the beds to the side, I really like it. So I thought we'd do a quick room tour, make it fun. Now we did get a standard inside stateroom. If you get a deluxe, the bathroom will be split so you get um, a sink and a shower and then a sink and a toilet separate but we got a standard so it's just one but it's also just the two of us so like we don't really need but it's pretty it's like your standard kind of cruise ship um bathroom with one exception and that is the fact that it has a bathtub which still blows my mind that you bathtub? can take it has a bathtub oh my gosh <laughs> you can take a bath that's so cool while you're sailing on the open ocean then over here we actually have a pretty large closet that we will definitely be using to unpack all of our stuff a little safe if you need it couch now for us this will remain just a couch but i believe in a lot of the other inside state rooms um, this can fold out into a bed and then in other state rooms they'll have a fourth bed that drops from the ceiling oh my gosh we have a fridge oh my gosh i feel like i shouldn't be surprised by these things but i am hey you're the one who's been on a disney <laughs> cruise Bye. before Don't worry about it. I don't even think we'll use half this cabinet space, which is crazy. And even like a whole like vanity. Lots, lots of storage. I, I don't even think we're gonna use half of this. And then of course, the bed. I really like this, this little blanket. It's very pretty. Got the keys. Um, the lampshades are also really cool. They're like little maps and then they have like icky heads and the trim. But what's also cool, and one of the reasons that, honestly, I like to have an inside stateroom sometime, is you can pull these curtains back, mm. which is great if you have, like if you're traveling the with, kid. the, with kids or multiple people in your party, you can separate off the actual like bed from like the couch area but it's also great because these are like blackout curtains and even on an inside stateroom you might have some light coming in from the door mm -hmm. but it's like with the curtains like nothing pitch black <laughs> so that is our tour of our very tiny inside stateroom but i'm very excited for this to be our home for the next four nights do you want to eat our snacks yes so this is a fruit and cheese platter which is Cool, because it also looks like it has a little card that explains everything. Everything in it. Oh, there's Borson cheese. Mm. Aged Gouda, Gruyere, Manchego, Brie, and then some Marcona olives and fresh. Since we had a little bit of time before we had to go and do our safety drill, we decided to go ahead and enjoy our snacks. So we put on our super comfy robes. Uh, these were probably like the greatest purchase that we made the whole trip. Um, we had some blue sparkling cider, which tasted just like blue Jolly Ranchers. It was really, really good. And we just took a little bit of time to relax um, after such a kind of hectic and chaotic morning. And it was really, really nice to just sit and relax for a few minutes before the festivities began. After we enjoyed our snacks, it was time to go and do our safety drill. 
Once our safety drill was complete, we made our way up to the top decks for Mickey's Sail a Wave party, which is the little party and show that they do right before the ship leaves the dock. And this one was a little extra special because this was a 25th anniversary sailing. And so um, all of the characters were in their 25th outfits. And of course they played the special song that they created just for the occasion. So this was a lot of fun to enjoy uh, just before heading out on the ocean. Once Mickey's sail away party was officially over and the ship had left the dock, it was time for some character meet and greets. Uh, we were able to meet Captain Mickey and Captain Minnie, and it was even extra special because they were in their 25th anniversary Shimmering Seas outfits. So it was really nice to get some pictures with these characters. After we met Mickey and Minnie, it was time for a quick change before dinner and our nightly show. It worked out really well for us because the show this night was Tangled the Musical and we were also dining at Rapunzel's Royal Table. So of course, uh, we dressed uh, Rapunzel themed. I had this purple dress and then my husband wore um, this linen shirt and a jean jacket and we got to enjoy um, the show first because we had the later dining time. The show was absolutely incredible, but what was even more fun was we did not realize that this dinner included a show as well, so we kind of got to see um, Rapunzel twice. Um, had a super fun time uh, with this restaurant and the show that goes along with it. And then they even had the characters come around to our tables. And so we got to do some character meet and greets as well. And of course the food is absolutely delicious. Uh, this was one of our favorite meals that we ended up having on the ship. Um, really, really delicious food. Since we had had such an early morning this day, we decided to just head back straight to our stateroom after dinner, which was fun because we got to see our first towel animal of the trip, which was this little elephant. And then of course get our castaway club goodies, which was this little lanyard and tote bag. We had such a fun day and we we're just super excited to see what tomorrow brings. <laughs> 